This lesson is about how to evaluate trig functions in a unit circle. First of all, let's talk about reference angle. Reference angle can be used to find trig values of any angle theta. We already go through this last class. Use reference angle to show any angle in different quadrant. Now today, we will figure out the reference angle if we are given any angle. Here's the formula. The first quadrant, all the angles are reference angle. For second quadrant, we use 180 minus that angle, we call that reference angle. For third quadrant, any angle minus 180 degree, you will get the reference angle. For fourth quadrant, 360 degree minus uh, that angle, we will get that reference angle. Basically, remember we use 180 degree and a 360 degree to find reference angle. Now let's talk about the sign of a trig function in different uh, quadrant. We have first quadrant second, third, and a fourth. And we know that all students take calculus. This is the way to remember the different sign of a trig function in different uh, quadrant. We use all students uh, take a calculus to memorize that. In other words, for the first quadrant, we have uh, all major trig function are positive. For second quadrant, only sine is a uh, positive. Cosine and a tangent are negative. For third quadrant, only tangent are positive. The other two are negative. For fourth quadrant, only cosine are positive. Then the other two are negative. Here are steps uh, to evaluate trig functions in a unit circle. Step one, find its co-terminal angles between 0 to 360 or from 0 to 2 pi. By doing add or subtract 360 times n or 2 pi times n, this n will be integers. The reason why we do that, it's easy to figure out the quadrant. Step 2, QRS, quadrant, reference angle, and the sign. So remember QRS. Let's go to example. Evaluate negative 945 degree. First of all, you have to change this angle into positive co-terminal angle between 0 to 360. So I got to do is negative 945 degree. I keep adding 360. Basically, I add 360 times 3. Or keep adding 360 until you get a positive angle. You will get 135. This will be the co-terminal angle. Then you go to QRS. Quadrant, that's a second quadrant. 
For second quadrant, reference angle you will get one eighty degree minus one thirty five degree. That will be forty five degree. For second quadrant, this will be cosine. That will be negative. In other words, I can write down here is negative cosine forty-five degree. That will be negative square root of two over two. Remember, when you try to figure out the sine is positive or negative, then you have to use that all students take calculus. While you try to figure out the reference angle, here's the formula you got to use. This is the one for reference angle. Let's go to second question. We're looking for cosine five ten degree. Since it's a greater than three sixty, so I got to do is a five ten degree minus a three sixty. Yeah, we just minus a one three sixty. You will get one fifty degree. Then we go to Q R S. One fifty. That's a second quadrant. Reference angle. We got one eighty degree minus one fifty degree. That's a thirty degree, and for sine cosine will be negative for second quadrant. Therefore, I will write down negative cosine thirty degree. That will be negative square root of three over two for. One eighty degree. This is a quadrantal angle. It's an easier way. Just remember. For zero. Ninety degree, one eighty degree, two seventy degree, and a three sixty degree. The coordinate will be one zero zero. Zero one undefined. Then negative one zero zero. This will be zero negative one undefined. For zero and one eighty, you see only one changing to negative one. For ninety degree, this is the one here is negative one only. Change the sign for one. Therefore, for tangent one eighty, you could see this will be answer because it's a C S T. If you want to do Q R S, that's fine. So Q R S since one eighty, you can count as a second quadrant or third quadrant. It's really up to you. So let's do the second quadrant. Reference angle definitely is zero, so it will be negative sine. You will get negative or tangent zero. That's still zero. So for one eighty or two seventy degree, you can count any quadrant next to this angle. For next question, sine negative one thirty five. Negative one thirty five. We add three sixty degree. You will get the two twenty five degree. Then we go to Q R S. Quadrant. That's a third quadrant. Reference angle we use 
two twenty five minus one eighty. That's a forty five degree. Then all students take calculus for sine. The third quadrant will be negative. So we get negative sine forty five degree means a square root of two over two. Let's go to last question. Degree is a ten twenty degree. So I need to subtract three sixty times two. That's a minus seven twenty. So get three hundred. And now we know that the quadrant it will be fourth quadrant. Reference angle. That will be three sixty degree minus three hundred degree. That's a sixty degree. So as the sun for tangent in fourth quadrant. That's a negative. So I can write down negative. Tangent sixty degree means negative square root of three. Let's go to minor trig function. If we have a minor trig function, first of all, try to get a major trig function. For example, cosecant three hundred. We need to figure out a major trig function. That will be. Sine three hundred. Then after we figure out the sine three hundred, that's the fourth quadrant. QRS. Then sixty degree. Then here's a negative. So I can write down. That、uh, equals negative sine sixty degree. So we got negative square root of three over two. Then we go back work on cosecant three hundred degree. That will be flip this one. Negative two over square root of three, which means.、Uh, Negative two square root of three over three. This will be the final answer for cosecant three hundred. Now let's go to cotangent two seventy degree. Basically, we need to figure out the tangent to seventy degree. Two seventy degree. That's either fourth quadrant or third quadrant. So we do the Q. R S. That means、uh, let's do third quadrant. Reference angle that will be ninety. And、uh, for sine, tangent will be positive. So you will get、uh, positive tangent ninety degree means、uh, undefined. For cotangent, we got to do is a one over undefined means zero. Let's go to second four eighty degree. Means we looking for cosine four eighty degree. For eighty degree, since it's greater than three sixty, so I minus three sixty got the. One twenty degree. Then I go to QRS for quadrant. That's a second quadrant. Reference angle we do one eighty minus one twenty. 
that's a sixty degree. So for cosine in the second quadrant, it will be negative. So we get the negative of cosine sixty means negative one over two. Therefore, we will flip negative one half. That will be negative two. Do we have any shortcut to figure out the reference angle? Think about thirty degree, then one fifty degree, two ten degree, three thirty degree, for sixty. That's you have one twenty degree. Then you have two forty degree. Then you have a three hundred degree. Then you will find the fact that、uh, this number can be divided by six, but this number can only divide by three. Not divided by six. Yeah, maybe this is the way for you to remember, so you don't have to do this、uh, calculation. Let's go to last one. Cosecant negative two forty degree. Negative two forty degree. We need to add three sixty. So we got one twenty degree. Q R S quadrant is second quadrant. Reference angle two twenty. Can we divide it by six? Yes, we can. So sixty will be the reference angle. You don't have to do that one eighty minus one twenty. If it cannot be divided by sixty, check. Can we divide it by three? Then thirty will be that reference angle. So for this、uh, sign, oh, we forgot to get its major trig function will be sign. For sign to the second quadrant, that's a positive. So I will write down positive of sine sixty degree, which means the square root of three over two. Therefore, for cosecant, we flip this one. You will get、uh, two over square root of three means、uh, two square root of three over three. This will be the final answer.